Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. When a man wrongly convicted of murder officially had his name cleared today. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals overturned John Earl Nolly's murder conviction in May. Now, Nolly had been serving a life sentence and already spent 19 years of his life behind bars before his release in 2016. He was accused of stabbing his friend Sharon McLean in Bedford in 1996. A jailhouse snitch admitted he had lied when he he told investigators Nolly confessed to the crime, and new technology linked a bloody handprint from the crime scene to someone else. I don't have any resentment towards, you know, anybody at this point. I mean, of course, in the beginning, you know, but I think that as you grow and you mature, you, you kind of understand that the faults you have, other people have too, and they're just, you know, human error. More than 70 witnesses were interviewed in the process that helped clear knowledge. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. And as you can see per the video, uh, my brother got released based off being wrongly and falsely convicted of a murder. And he was exonerated after spending over 15 years of his life in prison. And there's so many of our brothers in the prison industrial complex that's uh, in that same scenario, uh, being falsely accused. And I just did a report on uh, C. Murder, who was falsely accused because of one of the guys in the murder case who the police forced him. Or I wouldn't say forced, but they, uh, they tried to punk him that, well, I guess you could say force in that sense, but still, he still had the right to uh, deny it or uh, move forward with what the police desired of him. But the police basically punked him into lying on C. Murder when he knew that C. Murder didn't do it, right? He, he, he knew who the murderer was, but yet he put it on C. Murder, man. And that's just show, it shows the wickedness of these people from all angles. And that's why, you know, we have to have our own communities, man. We can no longer exist with these people. I know y'all are tired. I'm tired. Um, Jay Morrison, he has a Tulsa real estate fund uh, that's going to be uh, purchasing land, purchasing real estate. Um, it's called the Tulsa real estate fund. And uh, you can get you some shares for $500. And also, the Nation of Islam has an economic blueprint. You can go to economicblueprint.org and donate there. It's going to be utilized to purchase land. It's already over a million dollars in that pool that the minister will be using uh, to help us out. So we just have we have to have a, a mindset now of economic freedom. So that our people don't continue to go through what we're suffering, man. I mean, these people don't care nothing about us. They all about uh, filling their prisons uh, with us in it. And they don't care if they wrongly convict us in the process, right? Because if some of these private prisons are filled to a certain capacity, then uh, that particular state has to carry... Uh, sometimes they have kickbacks where the state has to cover down for that particular prison not being filled and they not trying to hear that. So they need black bodies. Whether we did it or not, they need black bodies. That, that's, that's, that's the code that they operate on, brothers and sisters. So we have to understand what we're dealing with. We need uh, police who look like us in our communities. Brothers, if you have a desire to be a policeman and you're of good et ethical and moral, moral character, please do sign up. We need more brothers on the police force to police our communities. We need more teachers in the school system to teach our communities. Uh, I, even though the public sc school system, I would not personally take my children up there. It sure does go a long way in it does our children better to see somebody in front of them who looks like them who truly cares about them and not just there to get a paycheck this your brother monroe jr uh may 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 
I create a be with all them brothers who are wrongly convicted in the penal uh, system. Um, you know, I, I see these cases so frequently of brothers getting exonerated after they have already spent 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years of their life um, in prison. And uh, may our creator use these brothers to affect much, much change as, um, as they were in the belly of the beast. And um, may, may they inspire many from their journey. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.